All right, everybody, today I'm going to do a little Christmas games, or at least seasonal games. So this is uh, Frostbite on the Atari 2600 by Activision. And um, it's kind of a cubert style game, I guess you'd call it, because you've got to jump on these little ice patches and change the colors. And as you change the colors, you build up the bricks of your igloo. Then once you build up the bricks of your igloo, you can go into the igloo and end the round and get bonus points for... Uh, how much temperature you have left and it sounds like a really easy thing but you can see there's all kinds of obstacles in the way or villains and you've got like crabs and clams or something I don't know what those are but you have birds and the fish are okay because you can just eat those and up top you can see there's a polar bear which you know looks really cute for this game so um, let's see how difficult it is uh, what I understand it's not the easiest game but it's fun people <laughs> seem to really like it bird right in my face there oh there's one more thing you can do if you push the button you can reverse the uh, blocks you're on or some of the blocks. See, I mean, these birds are flying right I'm on the other side of him, so. All right, I can go in. Here we go. Round one done. This one's harder because you can get pushed off those ice blocks. This this here, you could walk all along, you see, and this, is, this one's not bad because there's fish. And fish are bonus points on this. See, but I'm not getting it until I get down to the bottom again. I don't have any more opportunity to build blocks. And if I reverse the angle of these, that's what gets a bonus fish. Yes, that was a quick jump back and forth. Now I can go in and get my bonus points. All right. Already, crabs starting to show up. All right, uh, no, they go too fast. I don't know why I thought it was good to reverse there. It was foolish. See, I gotta wait for those crabs to pass. That's the key. And then wait for the birds to pass. But boy, they're just everywhere. All right, that's fish. So I can... Or jump in the water and freeze my nuts off. All right, let's be smart about this. Uh, yeah, that didn't look safe to jump down there. I went to made it back. So this I can do a little back and forth. Get on the other side of them. Uh, is that going to come back? Okay, that came back. I am not going to deal with all these crabs right here. I'm running out of time though. I'm not gonna have enough time to to finish, so I'm gonna go get another piece here. I mean, I almost made it. Now I can just walk right in, right? Get the maximum points. I think if I jump on those blocks again, they give me a few extra points. But what's the purpose? All right, now we got a bear. Well, that's not a polar bear. That's the, that's like a gray bear. All right, fish are good. Uh, what are those crazy pack crabs? I should have jumped up and down quick there. Let's get this fish first. Jump down. Avoid the bird. Go back and forth a couple times. All right, this is going okay. Oh, except for that giant crab. That must be the end. No, nope, I got more. I think I can finish this. Uh. All right, let's reverse this, see if I can just get over here and not deal with the bear. It's following me everywhere. Whoa, 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 what's that? How can I get in? He was right on my, uh, my frozen ass there. What the hell? 
Okay, here we go. Come on, we need more ice. Ice, ice, ice. Come, come, come. Feels so slow, even after just doing a few other levels. That's that's crazy. All right, that wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Let these uh these guys go by. They're not gonna go by in time. That slows you down a lot. up here for a second. Trying. I got to reverse this again. Uh. God, I'm, I'm gonna freeze though. There's no way this is too tough. Just get one more at least. Crap, I was hoping to at least get one more. Start building that. Whoa, I thought I was in the water. Okay, see there's room between them you can jump. But boy, is it difficult. See that? That was crazy. I only need a few more here. No! And I lost it because I. Let's just go in. Let's just go in and get to the next level. Nice that you can walk around on these. Makes a big difference. Let this little pack clam go by. I don't care what anyone says, it's a pack clam. What about it? I did it. Woo! I tricked that bear. Uh, now there's a polar bear. Nothing worse. Uh, that's probably it. You can't get extra men on this, it seems. And it's so fast. So fast with the extra animals. For the fish. I should have jumped. I should have been brave. If you're not brave, you're not going to live. And I didn't live. Ah, I had to jump for it. Do I got a man? I got another man. Oh, I jumped diagonally finally. Oh, I might make this. I might make this. Fish are good. Let's, let's reverse and see what happens. Damn it! I couldn't get in and I had a fire going. Looked nice and toasty in there. And that's the end. Well, I mean, this is not easy. Let's just leave it at that. But it's interesting. Obviously, you can develop some skills and some uh, strategies.
but uh I, I, can't, I can't imagine i'll probably want to see some people play this like at a pro level or something just to see how good they can be and then realize like you know it is possible to play this game and not die all the time all right this one's called toy shop trouble um and uh, you, you'll see what it's about this is one of those cartridges you get on atari age so you're a little elf from what I figure, oh, you gotta know what to paint these. I think I've gotta paint the fire engines red in the right amount of time or something. All right. Oh, it shows. That's right. It shows you up top in the little box. Now I've got the uh, fire trucks and now the horns. So fire trucks red, horns gold. And then I gotta make sure with the time I have left, I get everything painted. This is a, this is a fantastic game. Amazing. It gets harder and harder. Brilliant. All right, let's go with the gold because there's a lot of those out already. I'm not going to get that one. Come back around. Fire trucks, uh, trumpets, Godzillas, and AT-ATs. I think those are AT-ATs. Let's see if an AT-AT comes out first. It did. Well, one of the first things. I didn't touch my button. All right, I got fire trucks which are red. And then I need some green for the Godzilla's. Okay, now the candy cane's got to hit twice with each color. Brilliant. I'm going to go white because I know. I think they're being kind by letting you have ad-ats and stuff on here. Uh, let's go with red, because that'll get us the rest of the candy canes and the fire truck. And we'll go with that gold horn, or yellow, I guess, but I, you know, bronze gold. Let's see, as it gets closer and closer, there's more candy, more toys that you got to deal with. And they come faster and faster. I think white's always a good choice for starting this off. just to be sure and then maybe red because red's the most prominent next color that you can deal with and what do i got left green 20 seconds come on come on come on move it elf move it nice did it Brown and white chips. So again, white is probably the best color to start with. Oh shit. There's a lot of chips. Uh, Alright, let's go brown. Because I know I need it. And let's go red after this. And I think... Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. I should have done white, but I can get it on the way by. I didn't, I, I missed that the ad at was out. Whew. <clears throat> I'm going to stick with white again. Make sure I hit the ad ads. There's another one. All right, let's go brown. I'll get these ships here. And I'll hit green because I'm right down here. Get you, 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 you. And get that last horn. I'm glad the horns aren't two colors. I'll wait for it. Come on out. Not bad. Not bad. Oh boy. Blue and red is going to mess with my brain now. So white and red are very prominent. Start with white, white, white. And you do have to hit the button to paint them. 
So don't be fooled. Uh, what's left? What's left? Let's go red. These take red. These take red. These take red. The fire trucks take red. The fire trucks take red. You take red. You take red. You take red. Let's go blue because there's a lot of them. Oh, I didn't do the white. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, oh, no, 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 ship. You don't want to be blue. White. Brown. Not going well. Come on. I did it with one second if, if that left. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to relax and celebrate this Christmas music. Ship, candy cane ship, add at, ship, let's go red, oh candy cane, candy cane, All right, red, 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 oh there was another ship there, I got it in time, let's go brown, I'm never going to make this. I forgot to get, I forgot to get the, the red on the other thing. And there's no way I can make it because there's blue and red left. That would have been ridiculous. I still needed two colors on those. Okay, this game's called Spike's Peak. And this was uh, part of a double ender I used to have, and I picked it up again, which has Ghost Manor on it, which a lot of people hate these games, uh, but I think Ghost Manor is really fun. It's a great little Halloween game, and it, it's, you know, you can improve on it, and there's a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill, and it's a four-screen kind of game. Maybe it's five? No, it's four. And this is similar, too. This is a four-screen game. This game I do not love as much because it's very difficult. There are times when um, you're you're climbing up the mountain and you're climbing up the mountain and and there's just so many avalanche things falling on you so we'll see let's uh let's i wonder how many variations there's no variations on this there's just a it's just a get up and go so i'm starting to walk towards this you pull down to hide no, no that's a rock darn it So you got to avoid the bears and the birds and see I can't hide in that rock go ahead good so you can hide in these boxes and you can jump over things too ah, darn it um but the worst part's the birds. You, you've got to hide from the birds. I forgot you can jump. You can jump the bears, so i got to stop being afraid of the bears. Oh, get in there, get in there. Ugh. And you only have so much time in the box, or you're going to... I guess I didn't jump that. That's like a mudslide or something. Let's try that again. And you, you can get better at this. Yeah, I'm not jumping that well enough. Because it's, it's definitely not the little bear in there. Oh, boy. Much better jump. Jeez, there. 
and you never know how many birds are going to come out. I screwed up. I should have hidden there for a second. I think it is timed. Uh... Holy crap! I forgot that bird comes out right away sometimes. <sighs> See, it shows you a little dot how far you made it. Jesus. He's probably going to hide in that, though. I was walking past, I should have jumped. The bird comes out so fast right away. I'm in a bad spot here. I should have, should have hit in the box or something. See, I can hide in there, but the bear might want to be in there. See, no matter what, that stick doesn't really help you. See, even if I'm holding on, I got my little stick there, but if that rock gets you, you're dead. There's probably some patterns here to follow. But there's got to be some randomness with this. You little bastard. You couldn't just stay in your rock there? I think two birds are the most birds you'll get. The uh, will he touch me? Okay. Ah, uh, see, those are like landslides, and I've got to avoid. Oh, well, okay, I hit him. I didn't realize I could throw that at him, but I guess that helped. Shit. So difficult. this bastard. Is it an unfair game? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 no, get my stick back. See, and I think the key, the key is, is you're not supposed to take this much of a chance. I'm supposed to walk this path and, and climb up on this. See, if I put my stick down while I'm walking on the path, I won't slide. So you take small jumps like this. But the Yeti gets you. Oh, I got another, got another man. Well, that wasn't fair. Let's get my walking stick. Seeing you're taking a chance that you're gonna get hit by the uh, the avalanche, uh, or the snow slide, whatever you want to call it. No. I didn't want to throw it. I wanted to have it down and not slide. Oh boy. Let's see if I can make it up here to get my stick again. And there I go. All the way to the beginning. Let's 
just go right up here and see what happens. Nothing good. Yeah. He's gonna get me. Hmm. Very difficult game. Hey everybody, this last one is just uh, recorded right off the TV, off of Real Atari, and I just used my iPhone. And I didn't really do any commentary on this because I was just focusing on gameplay. But this is off the Stella Stockings collection. It's a cartridge you can get from Atari Age. And uh, it's got a compilation of games in it. But I'm just going to play Stay Frosty. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this. I had a pretty good game. But, you know, you can end this uh, video if you want to watch just some regular gameplay at the end and see if a game like this interests you. But this is probably one of the best games that have come out in a long time. And it's got a holiday theme, so it's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching and enjoy. We'll see you.
Thank <laughs> you.